Hey everyone, it's time for art. Well, I've got to say, your artwork seems to get better every week. I'm so proud of all of the effort you put into your work. Thank you so much. This week is another fun piece of work that I've chosen for you guys that I think you'll really enjoy. So we're going to be looking at the work of a lady called Laura Birch. Laura Birch uh, was born in December 1945 and sadly she passed away in September 2007. But she loved to draw cats, specifically abstract cats. And that's what I want you to draw as well. If you have paints, you can use paints in this project as that was a medium of her choice. But it's really up to you. If you end up using colored pencils, that's fine. It's whatever you have. So, let's have a look at some examples. Laura Birch used bright colors and cool wiggly lines, but often the wiggly and uh, repetitive patterns that she used were offset by smooth curves around the outside, really nicely framing her work. The eyes are very uniform, the faces are very uh, similar to each other. I really love her art. It's funny. It's abstract, but it's also very peaceful. She clearly knows what she wants to show in her art, the creativeness that she has inside of her, the joy for cats that she clearly has. Uh, but it's not quite as abstract as cubism or as, uh, as strange as some other artworks. There's a uniformity to it. There's uh, rules that she has within her art that I really like. We have a look at the next example. These are some versions from children. Uh, you can notice that they have the same round bodies, nice uh, uniform eyes and nose and mouth. It doesn't need to be too abstract in the way they look, but in the patterns on their bodies, you can see colorful flowers and stars. And around the edge, you can also see the same patterns. Here are some more examples from some kids. Remember, bright colors are needed with this. Uh, nice round shapes. Uh, some patterns inside the body of the animal and around the outside of the cat. I really like this one. Uh, it's really cool. I like all the patterns on the inside and the way the sun and the earth are in its eyes as well. So. Draw a basic cat shape. Uh, you can just use the examples on this uh, PowerPoint to help you. Add a background or patterns or a border. Trace it with Sharpie. Uh, use color shapes and oil pastels and then paint the cat and the background. Again, if you don't have paint or you don't have oil pastels or you're missing any of those, that's fine. Just try your best to make sure that they are colorful, that they are curvy, and that they have patterns inside of them. I hope you all have a great week. Have fun with your art. Spend time with your families. And, uh, yeah. Have fun. <laughs>